record. Welcome to Bunny's Designs. <laughs> this is a recording I've been trying to do for a long time, so welcome to Bunny's Designs. <laughs> welcome to Bunny's Designs. If I put my laptop there, which is completely destroying my sanity to, at the moment, and my camera is now completely destroying my sanity. So the reason the camera is so high up is I have three wonderful things that I've been buying. The first, uh, I'll do, <laughs> that's just arrived in the post. The first, and there are another set of these somewhere. Um, and these are pastels. And the gentleman pat, packed it up wonderful. These are all pastels. And I'm going to lower the camera in a second, but, and if I move the laptop away, I hope it doesn't touch the camera. This was all set up and then I had to pull the laptop out, so it's kind of... lose the will to uh, breathe in a second. Sorry about that. So hidden in this top, in this huge box, were wonderfully wrapped up all these packs of, I presume they're De, De La Rowney pastels. I'm only going to open one set. They're all the same colours. Um, and they are bright greens. But my camera colours not find out. Um, and they sit in here. So, and this is, I don't know how old this particular box is. Oh, they're on the side there. That's where they are. Like, so I've got so many packs. I think there's ten packs of pastels. Um... And so what you do is you put, um, they're here, tints blue-grey, tints uh, French ultramarine, uh, and your pastels sit in here, so you can have all your greens and all your blues. And the reason I've put the camera so high up is, just bear with me two seconds, because I'm just going to have to put my goggles on to see, te to see chat. <laughs> So this is a live stream, and this is a huge box. It's about, um, it's 21 by 19, and it's eight and a half inch deep. And what it was, it was in a shop, and this had a glass top, which I'm going to have a new, another one made. And... It has, I just have to move the camera back on, so excuse the sight of me. It has pull-out drawers, and they are all marked in gold lettering, the different colours and tints and hues, and they do come out. <laughs> Sorry about the noise. So, they do come out, and they're all, it's not going to pick up the names, is it? I turn it that way you might get some of the names so they're all embroidered sorry about it's upside down sorry embroidered they're all named and I obviously won't have all these colors um, but I wanted to put my pastels in here and there's one two three four there's five drawers and so we've got um, lamp blacks and whites, grass greens. We have warm greys, uh, madder browns. So they've all got a section where you can put your pastels. Just pop that down to there. Whoopsie. And so I found this on eBay. So it is from a shop. And I would think they were maybe 50 years ago, maybe something like that. It 
weighs an absolute ton and I nearly broke the wheelchair with it. I uh, haven't decided what I'm going to put in this huge space here. Probably all the, the tools that I've got. But I thought that because I have difficulty getting up to get things, I can have my pastels. But I'm hoping that my ink tense blocks and all my other pastels and all my all my kind of pastely things will fit into here. So the trip to London went quite smoothly. Uh, Hobby had to take me because um, Hobby had to take me because I was in the wheelchair. Uh, so we had a train trip down. Now, luckily, because he works for the railways, we have a free train pass. So we had a beautiful day together. We went down on the early train. Um, and Ustream had been driven me insane for two weeks, so it was really nice just to kind of not be worried. Um, and I, oops, I don't know what I've just touched. Hopefully, I'm still live. <laughs> uh, so we went on the train. We got from Kings Cross uh, up to Euston Station, which is only about a 10-minute walk. But it took me about 15, 20 uh, because there was lots of breaks in the, in the hubby was pushing me in the wheelchair so it took us about 20 minutes uh, hopped on a train we found a fantastic little place called Birken Hampstead which had a castle but we were so tired by this point we couldn't really look around it so it was a little town about half an hour on the train away from London um, I did google it on the train and found it had an art shop so I thought ooh, that would be interesting so we met the gentleman as we, as we came out of the train station. We picked up this big box, which he had made into a beautiful... Um, he had covered it in bin liner and heavy plastic, and it was very well wrapped. And he made a beautiful handle on the top so we could lift it. Uh, it was fantastic. Hi, Kenny. Welcome to Buddy's Designs. Anybody else popping in? So that was fantastic. But I then had this huge heavy box this huge box with me um which caused it was it was uh, it was just about manageable shall we say um uh, but i did go around the art shop and the ladies were lovely in there and i found something that's even better than this now this was quite expensive I'd, I'd ummed and ahed, uh, but I did want it to go on my desk next to me. So all I had to do is to pull the drawers out and pick out what I wanted. As I say, I will be getting a piece of glass to fit in here, and then I can put things on top. And then I will have my pastels right next to me because I need things to be handy because at the moment they're at the other side of the other desk and I cannot get to them if I'm sitting down. So this was my beautiful box which I cannot move out the way to show you my next thing which is out of this world and I don't know where I should put it. Oh yes I do. No I don't. Oh, don't panic. Don't panic. I'm trying not to go in panic mode, but this is even more exciting than the other thing. Um, I can I do not think I can lift this off the desk. It's really heavy, and hubby promised he wouldn't go far away. So another little thing that I bought before I bid for this, um, it was on for about fifty pounds. So I thought, well, I want it. You could spend £100 on plastic boxes for the desk. So I decided I would go for it. And, and I did I did win it for £92. Which, if you say it very quickly, it's not a lot. But it was pre-arranged. Hubby said I could have it for my birthday. In the meantime, I'd found these Aquatones, which, were Der, which are Derwent. And they're like pure sticks of watercolour. Um, so they kind of bobbed into my my um, buying box on the internet. So, but they've just arrived. But they're they're quite good because it's pure solid colour. So they're like Caran d'Ache, but they're very long. Um, and we have, I think the full range is twelve. I used to do more. 
um, but we've got two greens in there we've got two yellows two reds purples a, two browns and a black so there isn't a white in there but I do have an aquatone white so it's quite wanted those but wouldn't have bought them if I'd have had to pay 92 pounds for this um, and I'll probably leave that there because the next thing is the most exciting thing on the planet and I cannot find it and I am so trying not to panic so trying not to panic ah I know where it is I think so bear with me two seconds I'll have to go get it I'll have to go get it I think it's here oops it's not there I think it's here oh. yes oh no I can't see it oh how interesting I've put it in such a safe place. I cannot find it. <laughs> and I cannot find it. So, oh, I know where it is. I did put it in a very safe place. I did. I put it in such such a safe place. I can't find it. I did. I put it in a safe place. Oh my goodness. Oh, I know where I put it. Yes, of course I did. I know where I put it. <gasps> Gosh, how old am I? I did find it. So this is the most I think I've ever spent on anything, ever. Um, but we need a drum roll for this. <laughs> because while I was there... I've had this set of Neos and I was going on and on and on about them and my daughter painted the black cat with them and the, 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 all sorts of others and I had this set. Now when I bought this set, and I will pull the camera in a minute, <laughs> yeah sorry about that, I am absolutely potty but I haven't recovered from the trip obviously. So I bought these for £15 and there are 15 Nia Colour 2s and I love these because they are so chunky. They're about the size of your wedding ring finger. They are chunky and they are the original Nia Colour 2s but they used to call them Neo Art. And the, the same size as the little fat chubby Neo Art oil bars that they do now. So, <laughs> Kenny says she's done the same thing. <laughs> so, these were £15. Now, I did find this set um, for about, I think it was £50. So, the exciting thing is that in this shop in London, they had five boxes of these, but there were only ten in there. So I don't know which five they would have kept out. Probably the turquoises, I would think. But they are the fat, chunky ones. And it's in a box that size. But these are the chunky, gorgeous, near colour arts. And they were £50, £49. And under these four packs, I mean, these are quite old, are these? You know, they haven't made them for a long time. And under that, uh, there was a, se a set of 30 which was £149. And I was jumping up and down and I was thinking, Ooh, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Under the dusty shelf, there was that. And I thought, I know what that is. And I've never seen this before. I would have preferred it not in the box for obvious reasons because I don't do boxes. But this is a full set of these chunky, chunky ones. And I may have to leave home and go be a washerwoman for a while. <laughs> and 
Now I've had a very quick look inside um, and I will have to zoom in. Oh, I can't, don't think I can do that. So just bear with me because I'm going to drop the camera. about it that to be about right so forgive me if you're a bit oh look at that I couldn't do that again so look at these babies these are the original near color art water soluble wax pastels and this is the full set now i'm hoping they're going to be okay but i was in absolute wonder i have the full set i cannot wait to play i'm hoping they're going to be okay i didn't take i didn't even test them i'm just hoping even though they're about 20 odd years old they're going to be fine because these are a lot older than that and my other set is nearly 30 years old and it's still fine so I can't wait to play yes that's what I was going to say Kelly oh oh and I'm hoping that if we make a good job with these Karen Dash will bring them back out again because they have the moulds because they make the moulds with the wax oil bars now i do want a set of those but don't say it too loudly um i cannot tell you how much these were because i have never never ever ever this is about a hundred christmas presents for me um but i was so excited because it means that even though i'm really really bad with my hands i could even cut these up just got to be careful I don't drop them because my hands are really bad today I could even cut them up and put these into here but I think if I get the glass to go on here I can sit them on top and I can I can use them um, but Karen Dash uh, sorry Yes, Karen Dash near colour twos. They could bring them out in these chunky ones. And then you wouldn't need... They did ha actually have a set of... Um, they had the 126 tins. The six tins in a box. There's the four tins in a box. Uh, the big tins. And it said the full 126 near colour twos. And I think they were £299. But I didn't want that set. I wanted this set of the chunky ones because you can hold them with poorly hands and you can still paint. And we've got some gorgeous blues, lots of yellows, reds, oranges, purple, pinks. My favourite colours. There looks to be some pastels there, uh, some skin tones, browns, olives, turquoises and lots of greys. So we, I'll go through them. When I do a, a when I move the camera a bit slight, I was so excited to find the full set. Um, but as I say, I'm hoping, um, and they are so easy to use. So the little man, bless him, he did knock me. He did knock me twenty pounds off. So. Um, did I put that one in there? Oops, let me just make sure that I get these in the correct. Because I'm so precious with them. So I will be playing with those. But that also means that my other set I can give to my daughter who's actually doing uh, illustration and animation. <laughs> I am. So I've had a bad day with Ustream. But if I hadn't have had the bad day at Ustream... I would have just got the guy to post the box up, but I was frightened the box would get bashed about. Oh. I'm not quite sure how I will f function with this, but once they're out, I'll be able to play. So this shop has a set of 30, and it has 
four sets of ten of these chunky collars um, and they are amazing they are amazing I'm so happy I'm such a happy girl because they're gonna last me forever they really do last an awfully long time now the box is a little bit tight oopsie but then that's it's only because you have to hold it down and it's a bit heavy because it's obviously full of chunky it, it probably fits that way a lot better actually so when it's at the side of my desk it fits perfectly on there look how amazing is that so I can open it because this isn't actually going to be in front of me I can open it I can and I can work with them next to me so I've got all the colors oops right next to me Oh, hi, Cheshire Cat. Welcome to Bunny's Designs. This is a live stream recorded for Ustream.tv, eventually. <laughs> and also recorded for YouTube for people to watch at their leisure. It's been a long two weeks trying to get uh, um, a bit of a bit of piece of advice to Ustream. Please actually say exactly what you have to do uh, and not say it's anything to do with flash thingy because it, it wasn't anything to do with flash thingy. <laughs> If they'd have given the simple instructions they gave on their website, it would have been a two minute, a two second job. But, and I did do it at two o'clock this morning because it was definitely not going to get the better of me. <laughs> so I am such a happy girl. Um, I am such a happy girl. But I have to say that um, the other thing I wanted from my birthday or for Christmas from the girls because I've run out, is some Chanel perfume. And I found some on eBay. Yes, it's just that one. It just has to sit back a bit. Um, and I got 100 mil for £40. And bless her, she sent me the little bag as well that it came in. And so that would have been a hundred and some pounds anyway. So I managed to get quite a few nice things, but I'm so excited to play. And I did take lots of things with me. Um, I took a lot of things with me to do some sketching. And I thought I would take my little book and draw some butterflies. But now I've got these, I'm going to really use some proper art. So if you've got any questions, I'm so, I can't breathe. I just feel, ah, babies, babies. <laughs> it did take me 10 minutes to find a safe place this morning to put them. Because I didn't want to leave, I couldn't even leave them on top. But in case the cat got on there, or <laughs> I was so precious with them. I'm just so excited. So Karen Dash may bring these out if we want to play because they are wonderful. So somewhere I have the address of the shop in London. If you, it's actually, um, but they've only got about four of these and they're 10 sets. But I thought postage wouldn't be so bad. But there is a set of 30, but it's £149. And then you've got your postage. But you can't buy them anywhere else. You just cannot even find them on eBay or anywhere. Um, so I was so excited because they are so, so good. And even though there's only 60, I mean, I always say this 15 set was fantastic. Uh, and my girls have used these. And so one's doing illustration and animation at uni and she has got, she can scratch two colours together. And there's tons and tons of colour. But normally I just use them and I've taught my children to just use with a damp brush and just colour. And it's so easy. Then you pick your other colour up, make sure you obviously clean your brush. And if you ha have a well in the top, eventually you'll get a well. This is my set, so it's not as bashed as the other set. The other set. Although she's used both because she's got green in there. 
these this is my set which doesn't have much of a well in there browns and whites do because I use a lot of brown so there's some fantastic colors so apologies I just can't see chat particularly well so I'm gonna have a bit of rejiggering and I'm gonna see if I can um, I'm gonna see if I can ask Hubby to move this big box out of the way so this will be at the side of my desk and it's gonna have all the pastels in which are holding my books up these are all my pastels so I can get rid of that because it's broken I found my knife now it's broken um, but it's it doesn't have its lid it's broken uh, the, the catch is broken but of course I'm not actually lifting it up because it lives and it's just full of beautiful pastels but it means I can get them all laid out in here and actually see what I've got and and then of course I've got my I didn't expect to find my amazing full set of Neo Aquella finest water soluble wax pastels that's what they are um, and they are in a beautiful wooden box but the beauty the reason these stay so fantastic is because they arrive and they all arrive in this foam pocket it's like a little cradle and that's why they stay tidy if they were bashed together they end up looking like my others because they are very highly pigmented um, but can't wait to play with those um, you can do all sorts with them you do not have to do how I use them there's there is still a video how to use them it's a set of 60 set of, sorry it wasn't a set of 60 it was a set of 30 and the set of 10 um, so in the set of 10 I can read the colors out actually now you will probably find these colours are the same as the Neo Colour 2s. It's just that these are chunky. So in here we have uh, white, light grey, grey, black, yellow, golden yellow, yellow oak, green ochre, um, Toledo brown, ochre, brown sienna, olive brown, reddish orange, flesh, salmon, saffron, vermilion, English red, russet, burnt sienna, scarlet, carmine, ultramarine pink, dark carmine, oh I love dark carmine, purple violet, manganese violet, periwinkle blue, sky blue, night blue, Prussian blue, light blue, now I can't pronounce this, um, thaliocyanine blue, Al, um, of azurite blue, turquoise blue, malachite green, ice blue, emerald green, green grass, moss green, yellow green, lemon yellow, light olive, olive blue, reddish purple, sorry, purplish red, beige, cocoa, spring green, silver, gold, Payne's grey, Sahara yellow, golden cadmium yellow, uh, ger geranium, sorry, genuine umber, burnt umber, light cadmium red, cobalt violet, dark ultramarine, middle cobalt blue, permanent blue, and dark English green. And I'm pretty sure all those are in the Neo Color 2s now. And I tell you why, because, and I was very naughty. I topped up my old Neocolor 2s, and I'm going to put this away because I want it to be safe. We have my little book of watercolours with, and this is what hurt, what's hurt my hands. I put my near colours in and Hubby was scratching it too. He was scratching the squares for me. So I put my near colour twos in there. I put my Derwent, sorry. My Derwent 72 pencils. I've got my Derwent Ink Tens pencils. And I have 
my Karen Dash. I have about a hundred. So I put all the greys together from whites to darks. These were kind of flesh tones, so I left them together and unusual tones. Um, then I have all my yellows, I have my oranges, I have my cold reds, my pinky reds, I have my purples, sorry, my pinks and my purples. I have my turquoisey blues and greens, then I have my pale greens, then I have my bright greens, and then I have my dark greens. I then have my purpley blues and my blues. I have cold greys and warm greys. Sorry, I have cold browns and warm browns. And then I have my olive greens at the back. So I think that's 92. So I've got 92. And as it happened, it was really, really good. But these are a mixture of little tiny ones and bigger ones. And... Um, I didn't really bother too much with the, the larger ones, but they are they are in here somewhere. Um, now there is a dark carmine in here, so I may have to have a look through because there's one or two that I, I knew I hadn't got, so I've recognised them. Um, so I love this, which is going to lead me to two things. And I did, I did take it with me, actually, this one. I thought I was neglecting So this is all to do with the colour twos. Um, I was neglecting this book and I started this. And I really, really, really like the colours. So just to take that down and this one, see if the colours any better. And as you can see, I, wor I was working from here with a number one Derwent water brush. And that's all I needed, but I've got 92 colours. But if you can see the shades, and the whole of the eagle has been done in a brown. And I was just playing with colour. And manipulating the colour a little bit, and you have a lot more control than you do with the Karen with the Karen Dash actual thing when you're using it from here. And so, if I show you the brown, you'll you'll know which one. So the whole of that eagle was done, and I used a quarter of my sepia. But what I can do very quickly and then I'm going to stop this video and do uh, some work is the other thing I did was I put in my Christmas art bag <laughs> my other bag so this is my third art bag oops and that's not it I have three of these now. And I will do a, a video on its own, this, because it's very, very handy. So if I was going to do something big, then I would use this. So if we open this up, I have my Derwent Art Bars which are a pencil, a pastel, and then I have my Neocolor 2s, and they are in the same order that these are in. But I would not have bought these if I'd have seen these first. I would have only bought this set, um, because I don't really need it. Having said that, you know, both my children are artists, so you know they like to draw. So I have got sepia, which is... Number 407. And that's the amount I used on a new one to scratch the colour on here. And I'll very quickly do that. And then I can put the crayon back. 
So yes, I knew this was going to take quite a beating. And all I'm going to do, because I've double checked that sepia and that sepia, 407, 407. So I, I managed to make, to colour in a watercolour effect the whole eagle. And if you're finding the little bits coming off, just grind them back in and they'll just sit on there and wait for you to get your paintbrush to them. Don't ever blow them away because they will, they will sit on there. And uh, one of the ladies said, if you use a can, if you have any bits and you have a, a can of pop, if you roll them, if it's cold, they'll roll in as well. So I've completely replenished that one. If you can see all that colour there, it's almost one flat layer. I can pop this crane away safe. And I've got all my colours in here. Which is very handy when you're doing your colouring. So I've taken it from the big chunky ones holding them on their own and drawing with them physically onto the thing to having them into my little book of watercolours, which I absolutely love. And you can see how much I've used, but I've also put here. And this is something you can't see when you see your Neocolor 2s. You cannot see the potential of 10 shades from each square. And especially with the purples and the pinks, you know, you can get some gorgeous pale colours here. And I've got the 90. Some of them you can see are somewhere else. Here, there's this one. You can see. When they're very close next to each other, it's a case of just a bit of water or a bit of white. And that's what we're saying about shades and tones. So even though I've only got 92 physical squares of colour, I've got 920 because every every shade, every square has given me full colour to pale. And that's something that you can't get if you use your crayon and a paintbrush. Because as soon as you touch it, it's so vibrant, you get 100% dark colour on there. And it's very difficult to get control. But when you use it from a palette, you have a lot of control. So for every square you have, um, so even if you only had 15 here, you know, you've know you got 150 colours, shades. Because that pink will go from the palest pink to the brightest. And that's without mixing two colours together. So that's why I said this one's a fantastic shade. And especially when you look how much crayon I've actually used. Um, I don't know if there's another one that I've used a lot of, I don't think. Oh, Payne's Grey I used for the clouds. If I find the book. So they were the only two. So all those, all these clouds... I didn't know what to cut, what to use. I wanted to use the Payne's Grey. And all those clouds are Payne's Grey near colour 2. And again, that's the only other one that took a little bit of a... So I can find the Payne's Grey because I know it's number, uh, number 9. And they're actually in the same order because I just find that easier. So my greys are here. And... That's number nine. No, it's number eight. It's the one below it. Payne's grey. So I can pull that out there. And as much as this is wonderful, and I'm going to be using it from here, if you are going away... I've put oh, 09. It's actually 08. It's Payne's grey. If you were going away and it was somewhere very hot, your crayons will get very, very, very soft. Um, and there's no need to do it any more than that. That's now completely replenished. And again with the greys, 
look at the gray scales scales so you've got a warmer blue a bluey gray we've got a browny gray and then up this side we've got paler bluey grays so even your grays have got 10 shades it's not just a solid gray um, and that's the oopsie just disappeared and that's all I've used doing that twice so they do go a long way even this size but of course if you have this one you can get that lovely well in the bottom and then you can use this for doing um, a piece of artwork so I thought I'd show you how I store my Neos and the art bar bag is fab for this it is fantastic um, and again I'd use them like I use anything else um, I put paper behind so you could put a color swatch if you didn't want to make the big book um, but they're all and they're all safe they're not gonna move they're all really safe and so I would have that on my desk and just pull one out use it and put it back and because they're water soluble crayons I put my Neo art bars sorry my dough went art bars next to them so I have a carry-all bag and it has just watercolor crayons but I don't have any others these are the only ones and I've had some of these a long long time the Neo color twos in here some of them are 20 years old because they're called Neo art and they're not even labeled some of them that's how old they are so they could even be 30 years old I don't know how long they broke it the only thing you've got to be careful is they probably would be all right if you drop them but I wouldn't advise it so that is my unboxing of my huge pastel box and my Karen Dash near color tools thank you for watching